Welcome. In this video, we will look at how you can integrate SAP GTS with your customs broker through an example of an export declaration. Before we begin, let us look at some of the benefits of customs broker integration. You can efficiently communicate with your customs broker of choice. It will improve auditability and visibility of customs broker performance. And finally, it allows you to manage both broker integration and direct e-filing with customs authorities on one single platform. Let us look at broker integration in a bit more detail. A customs broker is a service provider who completes customs formalities on behalf of another business entity. Customs broker integration enables efficient customs clearance in countries where direct filing is unavailable, or using customs brokers instead of self-filing is more beneficial for your business. SAP GTS sends a customs declaration request based on an export customs declaration to the customs broker so that they can create a customs declaration in the official format and communicate it to the customs authorities. The customs broker can supply missing information if any. However, the broker should not change data already provided by GTS. If the customs broker aggregates or splits line items, the customs broker's reply to the SAP GTS system, after a completed declaration, must be according to the original structure. We will now look at this in more detail through a practical example. An export declaration is usually created based on preceding documents in the ERP system. To trigger the process, we create an export sales order from our Canadian entity to a customer in China. It will consist of only one line item of 10 units. We will move on instantly after saving the new sales order and creating the corresponding outbound delivery. As a final preparation step, we will create a pro forma invoice or pro forma billing document. This step will trigger the automatic creation of an export declaration in GTS. With an export declaration automatically generated, we will look at how we communicate it to the customs broker. The app Manage Export Declarations lets us look at the newly created export declaration. On the Partner tab, we can see all involved business partners, including the assigned customs broker, that will soon receive a request to file the declaration. On the Geography tab, we can see things like country of departure and arrival, as well as the relevant customs offices. The Transportation tab gives us the INCO terms, the declaration date and mode of transport. On the References tab, we can see all preceding documents from ERP. The Communication tab contains one message, the request sent to the customs broker. We select it and look at the technical XML file. It includes all the declaration information shared with the customs broker. As the declaration process progresses, we should expect a couple of response messages back from the broker. One is the notification message, a confirmation that the declaration has been filed and accepted by the customs authorities. The response is also in the form of an XML message. Another one is the notification of exit from the customs area. Finally, the response messages update the declaration in GTS, with, for instance, the registration number with customs and internal broker reference number. The exporter can run integrity checks based on the responses from the customs broker. These checks enable the company to validate and monitor the content of the responses. Performance evaluation details show the overall time taken to complete the declaration and the number of integrity check errors. Let us recap some of the benefits of customs broker integration. You can efficiently communicate with your customs broker of choice. It will improve auditability and visibility of customs broker performance. And finally, it allows you to manage both broker integration and direct e-filing with customs authorities on one single platform. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.